Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing an educational commentary. This is the first educational commentary of season six. And for this first commentary, we're gonna be focusing on landing in Loot Lake. All right? I'm gonna show you guys like my go-to strategy when I'm landing in Loot Lake. Uh, one thing I like doing is I, I wanna get really low right off the rip. I wanna go low and I wanna get into the cyclone tornado thing here. Um, reason being is I can get a better understanding of what's going on below me and on top of me. And I can kind of boost myself uh, quickly to a spot if I need to, like this chest, for example. So we got minis and we got an SMG. There are people on top of us. There are people in front of us. That guy's going for a chest right now. I'm gonna go ahead and spray him down before he can get to the uh, the tornado or whatever, the whirlwind, whatever you want to call it, chat. Call it whatever you want. I won't hate you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hop right back into this. And try to reposition myself to where people are. I'm going to go ahead and grab the shotgun ammo. I'm going to grab this AR ammo as well. What I like about this is you can, like, you can move around and kind of hunt people that are on top and come out of nowhere. We got a double barrel, which is perfect for the situation that we're in. And you want to pull your chute to go higher. So when you pull your chute, you can get really, really high up. This guy is on the third floor right now. I just accidentally rotated my... Uh, my ramps did not mean to do that. I think this guy dropped down below me. Yeah, he did. He might come. In, he might be coming back up. There's actually this. This dude just rotated something here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that. That's not what I meant to do. I accidentally hit the wall. The wall clipped me, unfortunately. There's a slurp down there. I'm gonna go for it. So we messed up there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the slurp, get the health that I need, get a few more masks. There's not a lot of masks you can get up here, but this guy's looking at me with a sniper rifle right now. I'm gonna go ahead and reposition again, come up the side. Now we're on the roof. He has a double barrel too, so we gotta be careful. Not exactly sure where he went. This guy seems kinda good. He's a default skin, but I, he's definitely not a true default skin. Nice, nice shot, nice shot. All right, this is like terrible angles. I hate fighting people inside houses like this. It really, really is not fun. He's pushing, I'm gonna go ahead and box myself in. There we go. So what I did here was I put myself in a box because what, what, it, what it does is opens up opportunities for your opponents to make mistakes. And uh, he didn't really, it seemed like he didn't really know what, what to do when we were in the box. Like he didn't really put pressure on us to try to break the wall. Um, we had very limited materials. So that was kind of like the only thing we could do in that situation was to box up. Uh, fighting him in the house was not the smartest decision. When you're fighting somebody who's camping in a house and they're actually decent, um, it creates very awkward angles. And it also creates opportunities for a fight to be settled like in a way that doesn't really like it, it, it like let's say you're the better player if you're the better player you have a better chance of killing your opponent in an open fight but when you start min like mixing with somebody camping inside uh a house who has like a double barrel um you very easily lose a fight to a player who you usually would beat in a regular fight so sometimes it's best to disengage reposition all that good stuff i was really hoping i would get a uh a slurp or a chug jug from there someone's actually coming up we're gonna go ahead and around, to hit up. We got, we got a cheeky little headshot right off the bat looks like he's uh ramping up i'm gonna go ahead and put a ramp over him i'm gonna wall him off and i'm gonna trap him here 
So I didn't have a lot of mats. I also didn't have a lot of health. So I wanted to go for like the safe play. I didn't want to. I didn't want to risk anything. I didn't have to. Uh, and the safe play in that situation was to try to like bait him into walking into my trap. I put a ramp over him. He jumped up. I put a floor underneath him to catch him, and then I uh, went for the the trap finish. Didn't want to risk getting shot at. I wasn't sure how much health he had. Wasn't sure what he was what, what was going on with him. So I think most most of this has been looted. Like I think we're not really gonna find any shields. Um we will grab this other trap which could come in handy. But right now, I need to position myself somewhere where maybe it hasn't been looted. And I actually I actually think this uh yeah, right here. It's perfect. Box up real quick. I would wait for a mini or something, but honestly, I just need to get some shields on me. I think the entire factories haven't been looted, so I'm going to go ahead and loot the factories. The circle is still favoring us, so I'm okay with that. Let's let's just move in. Yeah, that's perfect. Minis, but we still have a big shield, so that's good. This is actually ideal. You, you want to use both the big shields so you can carry the minis, because if you use like the minis and the big shield, then you have one mini left over and one big shield left over. And then you would have to drop your sniper or your SMG or something uh, to, to if you wanted to carry both shields. So, so actually, two big shields without using the minis is the value is the play you want to make. Now, in this situation, we have another big shield, and we have to decide if we want the sniper or not. I really think the situation we're gonna drop it for the for the sniper for the the big shield is because I want to play very aggressive and I want to get into more fights. And I probably will take some damage using the double barrel, meaning I have to get in people's faces. The double barrel recently got nerfed. I'm gonna be honest with you, like, it's really not as good as it used to be. It's it's uh, it's pretty pretty cutthroat. You have to hit your shots right on with this uh, double barrel uh, to really feel like it's strong. Um, that doesn't mean it's useless, but now I think you know there's a bit of a decision to be made when you come across a uh, double barrel and a, like a like a heavy shotgun, for example, or even a blue pump. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this vortex and go across. I actually see some loot over there, but I, I want to go for the two chests first because I see a make it as well. Should be able to top me off. Gold scar. Can't complain. Let's go ahead and just box in real quick. Pop this med kit. We're going to go back, grab some of that loot, and then we're going to use the Typhoon to go even further. Now, some of you might, have, might know that there's actually like... A way to use the cube because if you shoot this cube it will zap people so if people are like flying around the cube you can actually shoot shoot the cube to zap them for 30 damage and they won't they won't die or fall to their death but that won't happen but they will get zapped and it'll do 30 damage it's kind of annoying to people and if you zap them three times they're dead now there's a way to use the cube to really like boost yourself really really far away let's say you're at this uh let's say you're over here and uh you're trying you see right now you see like how you can't build on the sides uh of of the uh, there's like oh getting shot at i'll explain this later but right now i'm actually gonna have to go fight this guy i'm gonna go straight up to him and try to get him in a trap unfortunately he did not fall for the trap he did pyramid me so this guy seems like a good player uh let's see if he edits through nope he might edit a window here i'm gonna go ahead and protect myself There we go. All headshots. That's what I like to see. So, by, by the way, when somebody has like a wall in front of you, some people panic too quickly. If somebody like if somebody has a wall in front of you like that, you don't necessarily have to immediately like avoid it. If you hold your shotgun out and you're looking at them, right, and they edit a wall or a window, they can vi you can very much get the shot off and then try to build before they shoot you back. And you actually have priority on that shot. Like you will get the first shot off. One thing you do have to be careful is some people are smart and what they'll do is they'll like if they see you holding out your shotgun they'll try to bait you into editing this and then you end up shooting the wall or something then they shoot you but you also can do that tactic where if you see somebody on the other side of your wall and they're holding a shotgun out you can just like crouch do this and then jump, shoot, jump shoot. Like, that's very valid and it reduces the it reduces the chances of getting hit back the reason being is that they actually don't um they actually don't, uh, 
know that you're going to do that so that you, you get that element of surprise so like i was saying right you like as you can see you can't build on the side of of this area except some there's a few places where you can so like if you build this ramp right here you can actually come down right here and you can shoot the cube and just for the sake of the commentary i'm gonna lose some health here but i'm gonna do it for the sake of the commentaries you can actually shoot the cube and i want to give uh, credit to i think more gals is the person who came up with this um and posted it on the competitive fortnite reddit i just want to give credit this is not my uh finding but yeah you can shoot the cube you come out like this uh no that didn't work gotta shoot it a little bit more i believe i don't want to get sniped while i'm doing this didn't hit me oh there's somebody underneath okay okay so the point is the, the problem right now is there's actually somebody underneath me so it's it's zapping a it's trying to zap a different person dang i, I just lazy that guy i'm just gonna chase him down honestly um yeah it's trying to zap there's people underneath that are getting zapped right now uh, but we lazy this guy we hit him like twice and then a headshot so he has like no shields uh i'm gonna go ahead and uh, push him before he tries to heal he's probably boxing up right now he's healing as we speak You gotta be careful with this guy and his I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the low ground and reload my uh, weapons real quickly before continuing. Calamity's actually really weak. He hit me. He hit me hard here. That's okay. I think he's got a trap up top. He's probably gonna try to bait me into like jumping to his trap or something, but that's fine. Uh, let's see what we do here. All right, these guys are fighting each other. This is my opportunity to come in. He's dead. She's gonna ramp up over me here. She's dead. No, she's not. I'm gonna go ahead and boss up. Start healing. I'm actually gonna do the tactic that I was talking about earlier. So I cut off the top and then I went ahead and uh, finished her off with a, uh, with a uh, shot. And if she shot back, she probably would have missed because she didn't realize that, like, like she probably would have aimed straight instead of trying to jump over the top of this little angle. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, so I'm healing up. I've got some health now. I'm gonna grab the sniper. I'm gonna grab the mini. Actually, I did not see the minis, so I'm I'm missing a little bit of health here, but that's okay. It's not like like I, I can I can possibly get more value out of these minis, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the double barrel for the for the pump, the blue pump. Um, just feel like I think that's enough double barrel for now. I'm feeling the blue pump. I do want to go kill uh, loot the. Uh, is a gold double barrel. It's tempting me, bro. It's tempting me, but I'm gonna keep the the pump for now, just for the playstyle. Um. Go ahead and loot, get all these traps, I like that. Shots were coming from the west side, from Pleasant Park, so let's move towards Pleasant. We got nine traps now, and a campfire. That's amazing, I like that. Okay. Moving on in. Be cautious. People could be camping anywhere. I see a one by one over there. Someone's possibly over there, but I don't want to. I don't want to necessarily go out into the open right now. Like I don't know where people are, but if I get shot, there's a lot of things around me that I can use to my advantage. There's somebody up on that hill over there as well. So we got one by one over there, one by one over there. That's two people. There's seven left. This guy's looking at me with a sniper rifle. I'm pretty sure he is. Went for a cheeky little snipe. Didn't work. This guy is also looking at me with a sniper rifle. Now, that is an easy kill. 
Now you might think, by the way, I want to I want to clarify something. That snipe shot that I just hit on that guy. A lot of people look at that and they they say, oh wow, that's like that's a really good snipe shot. And and and, and like I'm not I'm not trying to be belittle it. It is a good snipe shot, but I promise you that when you get comfortable with uh, the sniper and you get comfortable with your sensitivity and you you build that muscle memory, that snipe shot. You get to the point where if you don't hit that shot, if you don't hit a guy sitting still in a window, it's actually like a bad play. Like you, you've you've done yourself like a disservice by not hitting that shot. Like you should hit that shot. Now that only comes with practice and with uh, a lot of muscle memory uh, building uh, using the sniper rifle. Uh, if you don't use it often, you're not going to feel comfortable hitting that shot. But I promise you... A lot of the really good players out there, they, they are going to get that shot consistently. They are going to make sure that they, they hit that shot. So this guy seems to be like, I don't know. I feel like he maybe he, maybe he thinks that I'm weak or something. I'm not entirely sure what his whole thing is. I just want to use this big shield so I can get this 15 health. It's not really a big deal. But this guy seems to be sniping me uh, from far away. Just trying to go for a cheeky cheeky little snipe. That's okay. But I'm, I'm gonna What I'm going to do here is... I don't think this guy's in the safe zone, by the way. He's definitely not. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to... Since this guy's, this guy's like being annoying to me, I'm going to be annoying to him. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get close to the... Uh, get close to the safe zone. Build a pyramid out. Start peeking. I'm going to try to put pressure on him as he's moving in. And this is not necessarily to kill him. I, I, I'm, what I'm kind of doing is I'm kind of making him use some of his uh, materials. There's a slurp over there. I'm just going to drink it and then push him. The smart thing to do right now would be to drop the... Uh, drop the uh, grappler. But I want to use the grappler. To push this opponent. I knew he was going to start trying to shoot me down. That's something he did a few times, actually. And I, now I have someone on my back. But I know that guy is weak. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to box myself up and hope these guys fight each other. I'm not going to put a roof over the top of this, like, right now. I'm not going to put a roof over it. I'm actually going to try to bait this guy into, like, falling for a trap play. And I'm going to do the same tactic I did. Actually, is that my floor piece? This guy this guy actually shot through. It's not my floor piece. I'm going to break it. So right now, what I'm trying to do is I'm actually trying to position myself in a way where these guys are going to be fighting each other and not fighting me. Um, right now, they're both fighting me, unfortunately. I'm trying to figure out a way to like take take this fight away from me it's not it's not really working out right now this guy's building up again so now that he is he has higher ground he's being shot at and he got hit a few times and i can go for the for the play that i was trying to make um just edit him down now that other guy is actually going to build up for me and he might think that i'm weak too so he might he might fall for like something similar um i have noticed that this guy seems to be a little bit better and he also tends to like prioritize high ground a lot That didn't really work. There we go. He actually never recovered from the, the shots that we took at him. Um, so during that fight, I just kept moving. And I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I didn't really know exactly what I was doing necessarily. But I kept moving until it got to a point where they were shooting each other and not shooting me. Right now, this is a third party. There's only two people left. These are the last two guys. So the best thing to do is actually just to chill here. And I uh, hope they don't turn around and try to snipe me. Um, one of them seems to have ran inside the house and put down a trap. So this guy's in a stuck spot. Try to put some pressure on him while also making sure the guy on the bottom doesn't screw me over. Trap, he's dead. 
A boy hit a strap. I didn't put a floor down because I I realized I can only put one down. I can only put one floor. Okay, that's unfortunate. This guy's just shooting from the low ground. We should be able to take him out. There we go. Guys, that was a solid game. A lot of trap kills, good educational commentary. Season six, I'm here. If you like the video, if you're watching this on YouTube, like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you're notified. I upload educational commentaries very frequently and hopefully this, this video has taught you a thing or two. Thank you guys so much for watching.